Yo, what is up guys? This is Josh back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually add and make your very own transitions for your own Fortnite montages and highlight videos. Quickly before the video starts, I just want to say a lot of you guys that watch my videos, 70%, are not subscribed to the channel yet, so make sure to drop a sub. It's 100% free for you guys to do, and you can change your mind at a later date. But with that being said, the presets, the links, and the downloads, as well as the timestamps, will be down below in the description. Hope you guys do enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys on my PC. All right, guys, so once I'm on my PC, I'm just going to open up DaVinci Resolve once we have it opened up we're just gonna I don't know rename a new project called transitions tutorial or something along the lines of that and uh, I'm just gonna be covering transitions we're not gonna do any syncing or anything like that so pretty much what I'm gonna do I'm literally just gonna drag in two random clips up here and obviously I did press change on my project settings because these clips are in 60 FPS and I want to make sure that uh, the timeline is in 60 FPS because that's what we're gonna be using and uh, we're just gonna drag in these clips right here and then we're just going to shorten it down that way we don't have like a lot of stuff to work with so just like this we kind of have like a clip here and then we have a clip right here so it's just like back to back this is going to be like the standard if you're editing in davinci resolve they're just going to be backing onto each other so all you got to do to really add transitions is you're going to go to effects if you don't see this little menu down here you're just going to click on effects library so it pops up drag an adjustment clip over it just like that and we're actually going to add a marker to the middle point right here from there go into your fusion tab we'll give it a second to load press control space on your keyboard to bring up the select tool we're going to look up blur mo curves press add let it go in and then from here we can either just disconnect it like that or we can press left click and then press shift drag it in like that and obviously you won't see a noticeable difference because and nothing has uh, changed and all we got to do is adjust the z distance so at this middle point right here we're going to keyframe it um, let's say if you're wanting to do a zoom in transition let me quickly show you how these controls work um, pretty much the further you drag it to the left the more it zooms in and the more you drag it to the right it zooms out so for example 0.7 is zoomed in more than 0 0.1 0 0.1 is just normal distance kind of thing and 0 0.2 is like crazy zoomed in let's say 1.4 is like crazy zoomed out and what we're going to do is we're going to turn on wrap x and wrap y to reflect that way it's like this but trust me it may look weird right now but if it's going full speed you're not going to really notice the edges right here so we're going to change it back to one and if we're wanting to do zoom in transition we're going to go to the frame before on this clip and obviously since it's a zoom in we're going to make it a lower value because that's what a zoom in is so we're going to change the value to like 0.7 is what i normally do for my zoom in i'm going to keyframe it just like this i'm going to go seven frames back so use your arrow keys on your keyboard one two three four five six seven we're going to change this value to one because this is going to be the start of the transition we're going to go back to this frame right here we're going to go one to the right which is going to be the first frame of the second clip we're going to change this to the opposite of 0.7 so if you really think about it the opposite of 0.7 is 1.4 so we're going to change it to that and then we're going to go one two three four five six seven change this value to one if you really think about it the opposite of 0.7 is 1.4 you know the opposite of 0.6 would be 1.2 the opposite of 0.5 would be one or the, not 0.5 doesn't really work as value but just just to kind of give you an idea of that um it would be 1.5 but what we're going to do is we're going to we can see it goes like this but it's super linear and we don't really want that so if we could do that that's a bit of a fast transition up to you though um what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the spline menu right here select the blur mode curves and then we're going to press this little arrow button right here that brings up this entire menu click on the gray space pr press uh, Control a press s on your keyboard so it brings up the curves right here and then we're just going to copy this graph that i do right here if you ever lose track just click that arrow button again and literally just copy this graph like this and what that will do is it will just literally it does a bit of a fast transition it's really 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 fast so what we're going to do is we can just drag this over right here. We can bring this frame over here and then we can adjust this. So we can see how many frames this is. This is actually going to be one, two, three, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So then we're going to readjust this. So we're going to drag this down a bit and then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna unkey frame it. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Change this to one. Just to kind of uh, make it more of a uh, snappier thing right here. We're gonna adjust these again. Then we're gonna redo the graph. 
just so it looks a lot better. Something like that should be it. And that is that so that's how you do a zoom in transition obviously if you're doing a zoom out you just invert the values so you'd put the zoom out value first you'd put the zoom in value second you'd literally do the exact same thing and then you just uh fix the graph just accordingly it's so like that perfect and that is going to be that and that is how you do zoom in transitions on DaVinci. If we were to want to do uh, movement transitions, so like up, down, left, right, we're actually going to be moving the shift X and the shift Y values. So we're going to find the first frame right here. As we can see, moving this to the left moves it to the left, moving it to the right moves it to the right. So what I believe I'm going to do is we're going to do something like a uh, 0.5 on uh, this value right here. We're going to change the wrap X and wrap Y to reflect. We're going to keyframe it. We're going to go one frame back, change this value to negative 0.5, which we'll put on the other side. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15 frames in total. Change the shift X to 0. 1, 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Change this value to 0. And then from there, should be good. Okay. Now we're just going to adjust the spline, select the Burmo curves, press this, press A, or control A, S. And we're going to give us a bit more space to work with. So we can do this, drag it up just like that, drag that up like that, drag that up like that. And that is that. That is a full on swipe left transition super super clean like the ones i use in my own videos like you can see and obviously if we wanted to the right we would do 0.5 go over to this value right here change just the negative 0.5 just like that we'd press this and we'd fix the graph like we did with the other one like that perfect and then obviously the same thing goes so um we could just do the shift y shift x at the same time and that would do like a movement to the top right corner y you know you just have to use your common sense when it comes to making transitions like this um, but that is pretty much how you do the movement transitions you can just mess around with the values all that stuff to get different movements and lastly for the rotation we're going to drag in the blur mode curves this i believe this is the frame we're going to be working with right here so for this one we're going to keyframe the rotates at something like let's do 90 degrees so change it to 90 we're gonna go back change this one to 180 so i believe oh not 180 sorry negative 90 that's what i was going for yeah negative 90 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 this one zero 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 zero x and y reflect Perfect. And then lastly, with our spline, just do something like this. Drag it up. If you feel like it's way too aggressive, you can kind of ease off. The more you bring it in, the steeper the curve becomes. So if you want to adjust it manually, that's up to you. So that is actually how I do my rotate transitions. And if I want to, sometimes I'll literally go like this and I'll incorporate like a bit of a zoom. So I'll keyframe the Z distance at one. I'll go like right here. I'll change it to like, let's say, I don't know, like a 0.8. That way it's a bit of a zoom. Change this one to 1.2. And then I'll change this one to, I don't even know, like a... Whoa. Oh, did that run off? Just under one. just like that and it kind of adds like a nice little movement and then we just deselect the rotate just like this so we can see the graph for this one press s then you would fix the graph for that just like that and i'll have the presets for these in the description if you guys want to use uh that just to kind of give you an idea on how to actually use that if you are struggling to make your own but that is pretty much how you make your own transitions from scratch into Vintage Resolve for your own Fortnite montages. I hope you guys did enjoy this mini tutorial. 
make sure to check out the timestamps in the description if you want to rewind to the zoom in the movement if you just want to rewatch the rotate that is up to you but i'm going to be moving on to the after effects portion now so i will see you guys over there if you're sticking around for that all right guys so i'm in after effects now we're going to do we're just going to open up a uh, new composition right here and uh, you can make the duration whatever it doesn't really matter if you're just messing around with the uh the stuff so for me i'm just going to drag in two random clips just right here i'm going to cut it down and then i'll just drag in like a second clip right here cut it down and then we'll just do something like that and then uh, drag it over so just like that we got two clips in here they're overlapping each other they're meeting in the middle just like a normal montage you're gonna have the end of a clip and then have a new clip start um so for this the transition i'm going to show you i'm going to show you three different kinds of blur mode curves so i'm going to show you zoom in i'm going to show you movement and then i'm going to show you rotate uh so movements like the swipe up left all that stuff uh press uh control y on your keyboard just to add an adjustment layer press control shift d on either side to cut it down and then we're going to find the middle point right here which is going to be right here so we're going to add a marker on the timeline right here and you can just adjust this press control space on your keyboard if you have the uh video copilot extension if not you just come up here to your effects and presets you're just gonna look up blur mo curves drag it onto this uh, layer right here let it load give it a second and then from here since we're doing a zoom in let me quickly explain like i did before the lower the z distance value the more it is zoomed in and uh, the higher the z distance value the more it is zoomed out so if i show you 1.4 it's zoomed out if i show you 1.7 zoomed in so just keep that in mind um so since this is zoom in transition we're going to want to have it zoom in on the first clip so we're going to change this value to 0.7 this is the frame before the middle we're going to change this one to 0.4 or 1.4 i mean which is the opposite of 0.7 right because 0.7 you know makes sense um just it's like the kind of the opposite if that makes sense i don't really know a better way to explain it but trust me if if you try to think logically it, it does make sense like 0.6 is 1.2 if that makes sense but yeah all right so now we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five frames to the right which is going to be 15 in total change the distance back to one and then from this point right here we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five change this to one press u on our keyboard so we can see the keyframes select them all press f9 on your keyboard to actually easy ease them we're going to change a wrap x and wrap y to reflect just like that select the keyframes go into your graph and make sure you have the value graph not the speed graph we don't want to see the speed graph and uh just copy the graph that i do right here so select your points and just literally make something like that that's literally your transition done Just like that i mean like it, it doesn't get simpler than that it's literally so easy um so if you wanted to do a zoom out transition instead let's say you, you put the zoom out value first so 1.4 and then this one you change to 0.7 so just like that you get your zoom out and then you're gonna select your keyframes you're gonna fix the graphs so it's literally the exact same you always want this point in the middle facing down you want this one kind of coming in and literally that is your transition inverted so there's your zoom out super easy to do you can get rid of the graph uh we're just going to uh reset this so we're gonna keyframe it and now i'm going to show you movement transitions so for movement transitions uh if you move this to the left make it negative it moves to the left if you move it to the right into the positive values it moves it to the right pretty self-explanatory uh so for the first one let's say we want it to move swipe left we're going to change this to like a ne negative 0.5 should be good or negative or negative 500 sorry negative 500 so something like that or even let's just do let's just do negative a thousand honestly that should work negative a thousand here keyframe it go to this middle point change this one to a thousand just make it the the uh the inverse the positive opposite so just like that and then we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five change this value to zero go uh 15 frames in this one one two three four five one two three four five six seven eight nine ten change this one to zero press u in our keyboard select these values right here press f9 to smoothen them out so we could actually edit the graph copy the exact same graph as before this is the same graph literally for every single one so always keep that in mind and Boom. So 
swipe transition. That's, that's, it's that easy. That's your swipe transition. If you wanted to invert the values, make this one a thousand, make this one negative a thousand, that would move it to the right. If you wanted to change the shift Y, shift X, that would go to the top corner. If you wanted to do shift Y, that goes up and down. It's super easy to do once you actually get the hang of this. We're gonna unkeyframe this, change this back to a thousand. And I'm quickly gonna show you how to do a basic rotate transition, which is gonna be the last one I'm showing. Uh, so for this one, we're just gonna change this into 90. Keyframe it, go back a frame. Maybe this one negative 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Change this one to 0. This one goes to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This one goes to 0 as well, just like that. We're going to bring up the keyframe menu. Select them, F9. Go into the graph. Literally the exact same thing, man. It's that easy. Just like... Oh, I'm droning a bit. There we go. Rotate transition complete, man. It's that simple. And if you wanted to switch it up, maybe add like a, a zoom in to it too. You could keyframe the Z distance here. And then you can go to like this point right here. Change this into 0.7. Make this one 1.4. Make this one 1. Select the keyframes. F9, go to the graph, that, 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 that. Got a bit of a zoom, just like that. That simple, boys. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll have the presets in the description, and I hope you uh, learned something about transitions. They are a very, very, very essential component of edits, so uh, make sure you get those down. And uh, yeah, like I said, presets will be in the description for the zoom in, zoom out. Um, I'll just do a basic in preset in the description. I'll have a movement one, and I'll have a rotate one, just so you guys can use that as a reference. Hope you guys did enjoy, though. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in a future video. Peace out. Cause we know life be a water slide Step on the scene, they are running high That's cause we all got the tiger fry Niggas DM me just wanting to be But I got bigger fish to fry and That nigga ask what I think of him Be a broke boy, exemplified Playing these niggas like I'm playing Sam I got new 4G autos, a luxury rat And her brand new nigga was the